Hey, what's up? I'm Justin. Welcome to 65 Drums, the place to keep on top of all things eDrum related. Today, I want to do an electronic drum news video because Roland just released a whole new hardware line designed for electronic drummers. We've got the Roland RDH100, the RDH102, and the RDH120. Now, these are all pedals from Roland, and I'm usually not excited about yet another hi-hat stand or yet another double kick drum pedal, especially since we have so many great options from Trick, from DW, from Tama. There's so many great I know, pedals out there. But this is actually pretty darn interesting because they're designed for electronic drummers. What the heck could that possibly mean? Now, if you take a look at these pedals and you look close underneath of them, you'll notice that there's a ton of little rubber feet on the bottom of them. Those are actually filled with air, lowers the vibration up to 50% while you're playing. Now, this isn't designed for me because I live, I don't live in the basement, but my drum set's in the basement. And so it doesn't really matter because there's no one below me while I'm playing. At least I hope there isn't anyone down there. So it doesn't really affect me, but there are a lot of drummers that play in apartments. They're trying to be the good guy. They're trying to buy an electronic drum set to play quietly and their neighbors are still yelling at you. So this is for those people, people that are trying to drum on the second, third, fourth, fifth floor and wanting to limit the vibration that's going through those rafters. Now, of course, this isn't a new concept. Roland came out with this a couple years ago, but it was a standalone platform called the Roland Noise Eaters. So they're basically taking that idea, that concept, and they're building Roland noise eaters into the pedal itself. And I think it's a really good idea. If you go on Musician's Friend right now, you can buy one of these platforms for your Iron Cobra or your DW5000 for about $96. They used to sell for 140. In fact, there are other websites that are still charging that, but it looks like there was a price drop whenever these pedals were announced. That's my guess anyway. And then you can buy these little, these little like hockey puck things that you can put for each leg of your hi-hat stand for on your snare stand and stuff like that. You can buy those separately for about $21 or $22 if you round up or 35 bucks on other websites. Again, it looks like Musician's Friend has gotten to the lower pricing before all the other websites. So as you can see, it can get pretty darn expensive if you have to buy one of those little rubber hockey pucks for each point of your snare stand and then each point of your hi-hat stand, and then you have to buy platforms for both sides of your double kick pedal, and then one for your hi-hat stand. You know, it really starts to add up, and before you know it, you've spent $500 on all this stuff. So what Roland's doing here is that they're selling the pedals with the noise eaters built in. So just an FYI, you can't actually buy the pedals yet, they're still on pre-order, but if you go to guitarcenter.com, you can buy the, the single kick pedal for about 150 bucks, the double kick pedal for 300 and the hi-hat stand for $160. And believe it or not, I don't think that's really bad pricing. If you buy a double kick pedal, it's pretty darn expensive. So $300 for a nice double kick pedal, that's probably not as nice as you know a Trick pedal or a DW5000, but at least it's probably decent because it's a rolling kick pedal. And you have you know noise canceling technology on the bottom of that pedal. I feel like this is all pretty fair pricing. Maybe slightly premium, but it's still fair pricing compared to what's out there. And you can't really buy anything else that's like this that actually lowers volume. If you wanna learn more about the Roland Noise Eater platforms and the little rubber hockey pucks, I've linked a great review by V-Drum Tips down below. He'll explain how well they perform against just having them straight on the floor. He did some great comparisons in that review. Anyway, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Just a really short E-Drum news video. See you in a few.